10 flashcard games for young English learners. When teaching phonics or basic vocabulary to young students, we have to make it interesting to get them involved in class. Most teachers just read the word over and over again. But by using games, we will make it fun and they will get excited about coming to our class. Vocabulary Cowboy Duel. Select two students to come to the front of class. Hand each one a flashcard or paper with vocabulary on it. They should place it against their chests without looking at it. Then the two students stand back to back with their flashcards held against their chests. The words also facing forward. The teacher counts down. Three, two, one and turn. Both students then spin around and show their flashcards to their opponent. The first one to read the other's flashcard wins the duel. Make it fun by telling the students to dramatically die if they lose. You can split the class into teams. Each winner gets a point for their team. The team with the most points wins. Use flashcard games. Flashcards are the foundation of teaching ESL. Show the students the flashcards when explaining a new word because a picture is worth a thousand words. Add additional words like synonyms and commonly used words when explaining it. Then play games with these cards by placing the students into groups or pairs. Line the students up in two lines. Show a random card, they compete and guess, then score a point. You could give an additional point if they use the word in a sentence. Make sure to add variety by changing the game a bit. You can draw a racetrack on the board or use a die to make it fun. Let the students throw a ball at a target. Keep it interesting. Don't play the same game every time. Otherwise, the students will get bored. Hide and seek. This is a fun game that students love. It's not very educational, but sometimes we need to make things fun so that students are excited to come to your class. Get four flashcards and put them in each corner of your classroom. Get one student to stand in the middle and blindfold that student. They have to count down from 10. While they are doing that, the other students have to go and stand in one of the corners. Once they reach zero, they have to shout out one of the flashcards. The students in that corner are out. Continue until there is only one left and they become the new leader. Musical chair flashcards. The students sit in a circle and you hand each one a flashcard. While you play the music, they have to quickly pass their cards around. Once the music stops, they have to quickly pick up a card, stand up and shout out the word. Another variation is to sit in the circle with your students and then take out a flashcard and send it around. You say it out loud, pass it to the next student, they say it, friend, friend, friend. Once they get used to that, you can start sending another card. This is a great game if you want them to practice saying something out loud. Jump on it. Place cards all over your floor. Then put the students in groups of two or three. Say a word and one student from each team has to go and jump on the word. Points for the one who gets there first. Try to get them not to jump on each other's feet. You can also play this game by putting flashcards all over your board and then saying out a word and a student has to slap the correct card. Slow, fast and lip reading. When working with young students, you want to over exaggerate your gestures and emotions. That will get them excited and focused in class. You can look at a card and then silently mouth the word. The first one to get it right gets a point. You can do a fast reveal, or you can do a dramatic slow reveal. Over and under. Let the students line up, then take a card, read it out loud, hand it to the first student, and they have to say it out loud as they pass it overhead, and then under, over, under until it gets to the end and the last student has to read the card out loud. Easy, hard. Make a pile of two cards, easy and hard. Then put the students in groups and give each group 50 points. Students can then choose an easy card or a hard card. They can place a bet if they know it or not, 
1 to 5 points for an easy card, 6 to 10 points for a difficult card. If they get it wrong, minus the points. If they get it right, plus the points. Then you can look at the card, give them a hint. If they don't get it in 10 seconds, subtract some points. Vanishing flashcards. Show the student some cards. You can use more cards if you want. Tell them to memorize the cards. Then close their eyes. Once their eyes are closed, take one card away and shuffle the rest. Students have to guess which card is missing. Basketball. This is another game purely for fun. Get students to take paper and make balls out of it. You show them a flashcard. If they shout out the word correctly, then they can try and shoot it into a basket. Points if they make it. This is especially for students who are sporty and love to be active. Tic-tac-toe. Make a big tic-tac-toe grid on your board. Put the students into two groups. Show a flashcard, they shout out. If they are right, they can put a big circle or an X depending what their team is. Don't worry if only one team gets a lot of answers in succession. Make three. Give them a point, wipe out, new game. Sumo. Get some clothes pegs and a flashcard. Pin it onto two students' backs and they have to try and maneuver to see their friend's flashcard and say it out loud. The first one to say their friend's flashcard wins. Remind the students not to grab each other, otherwise you'll see some real wrestling. What's the name again? Students are going shopping, but they forgot the name of the item they want to buy. So they have to try and explain what it does. Put the students into pairs. One person is the shopkeeper and the other is the potential buyer. Give the students a list of words that they have to try and explain. For example, student A goes to the shopkeeper and asks, oh, do you have those things that you put into the sink to stop the water from draining? Do you have that thing that you pour water in and then you heat up? Do you have something to cut paper with? What's that thing people use to watch movies on? What is that thing you put water in to keep it hot or to keep water in to keep it cold? Then the shopkeeper can say, oh, do you want a thermos? You want to make sure that the students actually know what the item is, so keep it simple. Here is a list of basic items, but you can add your own. Total Recall. Having a good memory isn't just about how much you can remember. It's also about improving your ability to recall what you're trying to remember. And like with any skill, you should practice to improve it. Here are a few variations of total recall activities. In the description below, I put an image with 25 different objects. You can print it out or show it to your learners on a monitor. Let them look at it for 30 seconds, then take it away. Let them write down everything they've seen. It's also fun to get the students to work in pairs.